Jonah Lomu was rugby's first global superstar. He announced himself to the world in the 1995 World Cup with some extraordinary performances, especially his devastating four tries against England. The English came into that game with high hopes, but Lomu's size, strength and pace very soon ended the game as a contest and completely demoralised the English. Lomu came from humble origins. He was raised in one of the poorer suburbs of Auckland and began by playing rugby league before switching to Union. His height and stature meant that initially he was thought of as a forward until he switched to the backs with extraordinary effect. Michael Jones. He's in under the sticks. He began his career in sevens, but became the youngest ever All Black, aged 19 years and 45 days, when he made his debut against France in 1994. He scored seven tries in the 1995 World Cup and added another eight in the 1999 tournament, making him the leading try scorer. Jonah's amazing physique and athleticism made him nigh on unstoppable in all forms of rugby, but in the space and freedom of sevens, he was virtually a one-man team. Good work by Seymour. Lomu, a hard man to stop. Look at the difference in the size, but uh, lots of courage there from Farid Abdul Rahman. And never has a picture told a better story. Then this one when Farid Abdul Rahman tries to tackle Jana Lomu, it'll come into picture now. And there's the story. <laughs> New Zealand v Malaysia. <laughs> but it's out to Jonah Lomu, we haven't seen him yet. And he's passed Chris Wyatt, just swatted him aside. And Gareth Cooper hasn't got a hope. Matthew Robinson is on the field for Wales, but his chase is in vain. It's the first we've seen of Lomu. Well, this is not news hot off the presses, is it, that John Loma is big, fast and powerful. It always amazes me every time I see him run how someone of that size can be so light on his feet. But they still maintain possession and they still got Jonah Lomu's spare. Jonah Lomu showed it to Matthew Robinson and then just flew outside him. That's the second for Lomu in the second half. Unfortunately for Lomu, ever since 1996, his career has been blighted by serious health issues. He was diagnosed with a debilitating kidney disorder, and although he continued to play at the highest level, illness continued to interrupt his career. Although he showed glimpses of his old power and pace at the 1999 World Cup, he never truly regained full fitness. But even a partially fit Lomu was still a formidable opponent. Sean Fitzpatrick, the captain, who tells his team before a lot of the test matches, never step back. And that's what they've done today. Love it. Only <laughs> Lomu could get a try like that. There was still plenty of Frenchmen there, but he just went so straight, so hard, so much power, so much strength. He's two metres high. Truly back. Lomu. 
Lamu again. This could be a big line-out for Anton Oliver and his troops. It's taken at the back by Norm Maxwell. Feet gathers round, now comes the drive. Ireland have to get their backs behind this to repel it, and they have done. Gary Longwell was at the forefront, but it's still all-black ball. Major, Lomu surely. Lomu from that distance is unstoppable. Nonetheless, oh, that was a brilliant bit of work by Major. Tremendous running there by Howlett. And look at this, what a run this is by... In fact, it's the youngster McCaw. And there, the Scots are back. Umanga throws it out, and Lomu goes sauntering home. Jonah Lomu for his 39th try for New Zealand. And he's got a long way to go, hasn't he, Macau? But the supporters come in, and this is what they do. They don't panic. They get the ball, there's Blair there. He hits the floor, a bit fortunate. Umanga, as he goes down, one-handed pass. And there's no one in front of him, and I, it wouldn't have mattered if there was anyone in front of him. They wouldn't have stopped him from there. In 2003, he was given a special merit award by the IRB for his outstanding contribution to the international game. Ali Williams is the target, and this time they've changed the focus of the, the drive towards the tail of the line-out. Divine clears. Tano Umanga, the dummy runner, Keith Lowen. Howlett out to Jonah Lomu. Lomu powers through the final tier of defence. Great collective work by the All Blacks. It's had to go to floor, though. Or has it? Above ground, it's still a mall, it's still a driving mall. It's finally down on the ground. Now they hit the three quarters. Robinson, Mertens, here's Jonah Lomu. Lomu, unstoppable. But when he came out, he starts off long looping run here. Still got a lot to do, look, he's got 15 yards. Bounce one, and you're not going to stop him by arm tackles there.